a question for you. Whatever happened to the affordable in the Affordable Care Act? ACA is what they want it to be known as. Despite skyrocketing costs for patients, for doctors, for employers, the grand prize winner of the Obamacare video contest is called Forget About the Price Tag. You're young, you're wild and free, but you need to stay healthy. There's no excuse to be uninsured. Just stop for a minute and think. You're not immune to all disease. Take advantage of this opportunity. Keep your mind at ease and get some security. Don't need a lot of money, money, money to stay young and healthy, healthy, healthy. We just want to make it more fair with affordable health care. Ain't it about the, uh, Cha-ching, cha-ching, ain't about the, yeah. Blah bling, blah bling, affordable care. And don't worry about the price tag. Oh boy, that was interesting. Forget about the price tag, forget about the price tag. Washington Examiner Chief uh, Political Correspondent Byron York joins us. Byron, I, I mean, really? Seriously? Wow. What do you think of that? Uh, well, I don't think that one's headed to the top of the charts, let's say that. <laughs> but, you know, this was this was a video contest that the yep. uh, Department of Health and Human Services held to, to, to create a video that would appeal to these young invincibles, people under 30 who uh, don't think they need health insurance, they're healthy, they're probably not going to have a major health problem, and they're not interested in buying it. So this is a, apparently to try to persuade them to do it. The interesting thing is to don't worry about the price tag, which has kind of a double meaning because as, as we know there are millions of Americans who having had their uh, policies canceled are now facing higher premiums and much higher deductibles, a lot more money out of their pocket. And then of course there's the taxpayers end of this whole thing where it's going to cost you know, at least a trillion dollars over the next several years. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, that there have been misleading things obviously about this program, but then to have this the young girl singing, don't worry about the money, you know, and, and President Obama comes out and says, look, you can get a policy. If you're young, if you're one of these young invincibles, you can get something that's very reasonable. Uh, the, the problem is that, you know, you might be able to think you get it, but we don't know whether or not you've actually got it yet and we're seeing that you know if a ton of them don't sign up we're not gonna be able to have that low price tag right exactly I mean the the reason they're pushing so hard for these young invincibles is that they need them in the risk pool they need people who are young and who do not need health care who won't be you know go having serious illnesses to be paying for their insurance so it will pay for the older sicker people in the in the risk pool I mean that's the whole point of this and they're not getting enough and and from what we know right now people in that age group are not terribly interested in this we saw this poll from Harvard and it and it asked you know do you approve yeah. of this health program that's been passed and is going into effect and 57 percent said they don't and they're not particularly interested in getting involved. I mean, that that is really stunning. And you look at the rollout. You look at this um, music uh, video that we just saw. You look at the president saying, you know, talk to your bartender. You know, get him to you know sort of promote this program. I mean, get your parents on board when you go home for Thanksgiving. And and that Harvard study uh, shows that the exact opposite is happening. If, if there's one thing we know about young people, they like a website that you know that works. They like it to be easy. They like to get on. They like to you know have it happen quickly. Yeah, and, and the Obama administration has been working really hard to try to crack the code to figure out what appeal will actually work. Uh, but it may be that there isn't anything that will work because these these are uh, a group of people who really don't feel that they need health coverage and it's going to cost them some money. The president keeps saying, well, it'll cost you less than your cell phone and your cable TV. But uh, it's going to cost them money that they weren't spending before if they weren't insured. So it's it's a hard sell for a lot of people. All right. Byron. Thank you. Good to see Thank you. Thank you, Martha.